What's up dudes, Max here. There's been a pretty crazy leak in association with the DLC characters of King of Fighters 14 that I wanted to talk about. Not specifically a gut reaction to it because we haven't seen much, but I wanted to discuss my thoughts and what it is and what's going on. For you guys that don't know, KOF 14 is getting its first big DLC character pack that's gonna be happening in about a couple of weeks or so around the early parts of April. The characters they have announced so far have been Whip, Yamazaki, and Vanessa. And outside of Yamazaki, I really had no idea who Whip or Vanessa was, which is a good excuse for there being no reaction video. At the same time, I'm not really hugely overtly attached to the King of Fighters 14 roster specifically, outside of a couple characters like playing as Kyo and Geese and stuff like that. I do actually have a ton of fun playing those characters, but there's been a huge aspect of KOF 14 which has been kind of difficult to make videos about it if not broadcast it, and it's the fact that a lot of the random ranked matchmaking has been kind of weird, and it didn't run great. Although it's been some time since I played it, I was actually waiting until these DLC characters would drop to play a little bit more, and holy shit, the one that leaked yesterday is a doozy. That is actually Rock Howard. Predictably, the first time Rock Howard has been rendered out in 3D in an official capacity in quite some time. My initial reaction was total horseshit. I didn't think this was real in any way at all. I know this has been a widely requested character, not just from myself. I feel a lot of people have a personal attachment to Rock as a character, and he was kind of a gateway character to SNK for some people, which was very much the case for me. So a lot of Capcom fans kind of really like Rock Howard, which is the same for me too. But I was thinking because of that, it would appease a lot of people and make a lot of people happy. I was assuming it was indeed fake. They did get a really convincing fake earlier this year for Biken and Guilty Gear XR Rev 2, which is funny because that actually ended up being true, but the fake that was leaked a few months before was indeed not true. A lot of people are like, that one ended up happening. It actually is not true. The first leak for Biken was completely fabricated by a random user and did a really good job probably one of the best fakes I've ever seen in terms of fighting games. So that one was just convenient enough that Biken ended up coming true, and I was thinking it was a similar situation with the guy for this one, that Rock was gonna be happening, and it's just, this is total bullshit. However, it was recently learned that Vanessa was one of the characters that was leaked for KOF 14 a little while ago, just about a week ago, and she was leaked from the exact same person that leaked Rock. And within only about an hour and a half from what I understand, after Rock's picture was dropped, it was immediately deleted. So for some reason, the person that dropped it had a reason to pull it back immediately and revert that decision, and all of a sudden it wasn't available, but through the magic of the internet, it's freaking available everywhere. Everyone knows about it now, and everyone was flipping out that Rock was in KOF 14. Now, I still wasn't convinced at this point, simply because we've seen some pretty convincing stuff, and a lot of leaks have proven not to be true over the past little while, and just a lot of people desperately seeking attention. So I was kind of waiting back on this, and then all of a sudden people are telling me that on Facebook, one of the lead developers of the game has a tweet talking about how he's very happy that people are rejoicing for the latest news of KOF 14 or for what happened, but he's really disappointed that it happened this way. Of course, leaks aren't good. In any situation you have a developer that's making a game and they're planning marketing or some big ep epic reveal, for something in regards to their big game, you want that to be that way. And it would be a lot more exciting if it was that way outside of just being randomly leaked from a screenshot or something. All things considered, one of the greatest reveals of all time was Final Fantasy VII Remake at E3 that not many people knew anything about, and especially Cloud in Smash Bros. 4 when he was revealed. That shit was amazing and mind-melting. Not to mention other games like Tekken 7 revealing that Akuma was gonna be in the game. That trailer and that reveal was incredible. So I completely understand where the developers are coming from because this is a widely requested character from what I understand, and it feels that not just me would have completely freaked out regarding this. Now talking about the future, I haven't done a lot on KOF 14 in a while simply because there's just been so much stuff that's come out over the past few months and I've really wanted to go back and check it out. I'm curious to see how the ranked matchmaking has changed. I'm curious to see how the netcode in general has changed for the game too because it's been a little rough and I would have good days and I'd have bad days and it was a little weird. Um, I'm really curious to see how they change things with that, especially with these DLC characters, but Rock Howard is incredibly motivational for myself. I would like to say, just as far as my personal history, I remember Capcom vs SNK2 dropping, and I was pretty excited about it 
back in 2002 when I first played it, and my gateway character to playing a whole bunch of the other SNK roster members in that game and not just Street Fighter characters was Rock Howard. And by a process of that, it led me to realizing that, holy shit, the King of Fighters characters and SNK characters are so much more fun to play than the Street Fighters in a game like Capcom vs. SNK 2, which is kind of funny. That actually carries true to tradition for KOF 14, which is the first KOF game I've tried to actually learn how to play back when it came out, and the combos in that game are just so much fun. The game mechanics in KOF 14 can be a little weird to get used to, but once you get used to them, holy shit, it is a lot, a lot of fun. So I'm in, in, in immediately super excited that Rock is not just going to be in a random game, he's actually going to be in King of Fighters 14, which has an incredibly fun combo system, some extremely hype stuff that can happen, and he's going to be paired up with other characters that I feel are really appropriate, like Rock, Geese, as well as Terry. Get a full family lineage going, that's going to be just so sick. I know what a lot of you guys are saying, and I've read it on several forum posts and websites that Max is really excited about this now, but he's gonna be playing it for a week or a couple days, and then he's gonna drop it completely. And you know what? You're not wrong. You're just an asshole. I would absolutely love to spend a whole bunch of time with one single fighting game and get extremely good at it, specifically games like Mortal Kombat X, Guilty Gear X-Arc Revelator. These games are just so much damn fun in my opinion, I just haven't had the specific opportunity to just invest into them because, well, luckily enough, there's been a whole bunch of new fighting games news and information, updates and characters and everything like that over the past, well, almost a year and a half to two years. It's been absolutely amazing, and I know a lot of people are expecting something of me in terms of coverage or doing videos or week ofs or parodies or videos or anything, anything of that nature. A lot of people expect me to do something, and I just want to make those people happy. Right now, in terms of my Twitch channel, in terms of the YouTube channel, I just want to make everyone that's been following the stuff that we do specifically happy. I just want you guys to enjoy the things that are coming out. I will try games that I wouldn't normally try, like Chaos Code, for example, or Blaze Blue. Make some fun videos about them. Is there a guarantee that I'll play them forever to infinity and beyond? Absolutely not, but Rock Howard being in the game is something that will absolutely pull me back into KOF 14, and I'm really hoping that the online and everything else around it is working enough to the point where I will continually want to play more and jump back into the game. He looks pretty cool, all things considered, just his design in terms of the character. It is the first time Rock has been rendered in 3D in quite some time, like I said. So the impression of him, him being super anime and young looking is kind of apt because he's like a teenager for the most part and I don't know. I just want to see him in motion. I want to see his multiple supers. I want to see his really big super. I, I'm very, I'm very excited about this and predi predictably we might actually get a trailer for the character coming up sometime next week. So, stay tuned guys, the DLC pack I believe is coming out fairly soon for KOF 14, as well as the trailer for the character that's going to be dropping sometime next week. I'll be back with a reaction video to let you dudes know what's going on, and we'll talk about the gameplay, the looks, the character, everything like that. Rock Howard is one of my favorite characters of all time in any fighting game, and it's an absolute dream come true. Like, I'm getting Biken, I'm getting Rock, we got Alien, we got the Predator, we got the Cloud and Smash, the Cloud and Smash, dude. I can't even believe it. It feels like developers are going out of the way just to make me happy, and it's it's freaking incredible. I, I can't be any happier. So thank you dudes very much for tuning in. Thank you for watching. I'll be back with more updates of KOF 14 with Rock Howard as soon as possible, and I hope he's good, and I hope he's fun. My name is Max, and I'll see you dudes next time.